So I decided to record my very first podcast, but it didn't go as planned. The thing about podcasting is you have to find a suitable area to record where there's no disturbance, no distractions whatsoever so that the listener will fully enjoy the podcast. So I found it. It was a closet in my house. It was perfect. So I went inside that closet and closed the door behind me and started recording. And I was so happy with the output. I wanted to share what I just made to my wife, to my family. I was so excited. So I went out of the closet or tried to. I was turning the knob of the door, but it just wouldn't open and I was starting to get scared. I was started banging the door as hard as I can like the hook. I was gonna smash that door because the fear was rising in me. I was crying out, shouting, Get me out of here! Someone open the door! I was in full blown panic mode until someone opened the door. It was an angel. It was my wife. So I was finally free. Hooray! But upon reflecting on that incident, I really think that I just really totally lost my cool there. I lost my composure even though I was just stuck in that room, in that closet for barely a minute. This whole incident really reminds me of my situation in this pandemic, in this new normal. I've lost my freedom. I've lost my ability to just go outside whenever I want, to just enjoy the company of people. But I realize, even though it's very tough on me, I may have lost my freedom, but as long as I'm with my family, I'm with my wife, then quarantine, the lockdown ain't so bad. I may have lost my freedom, but I've gained a whole lot of love. So that's how I've been living these past 16 months of quarantine. I've been taking each day one loving step at a time, and I hope you do the same, friend. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.